Hey what is up, hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma. And if you're not new here, my name is still Emma. Today, I'm just going to do a bit of a day in the life for you guys. I literally came up with this idea last night because I released my lanyards last night. So if you haven't seen them, it is very unlikely that there are some left because there's only nine, nine left. I'm just as shocked as you are about that. So I literally have to package all those up and send them. And normally I'd send in courier bags because they're, because they're like this big. I'm putting them in envelopes because it's cheaper for YouTube for me. And because I can't send actual physical packages during the COVID-19 pandemic. I'm going to be busy doing that today so I thought I'd show you guys a bit of behind the scenes. I did film a bit last night so I'll put that in later on. But for now I'm going to do a workout. I've been getting a lot of questions about my what I'm doing for working out at the moment during this lockdown period so I'm doing Sarah's Day's fitness ebook so I switched it to shred it so it's an eight week program Sarah's Day is like a fitness youtuber I've watched her for like two years I did this fitness eight week program up to week six back in 2018 in August so I'm trying it again because she's doing it at the moment as well as a whole group of like her subscribers and followers and stuff so I'm one of those people that are doing it with her in terms of getting your hands on the fitness ebook it does cost money I've had people DM me asking me to send it to them I can't do that because that is illegal. The activity today was to go for a swim. And obviously because well, A it's raining and B that is currently illegal to go for a swim. So instead of doing that I am doing a core and ab Pilates home workout which she posted like a week or two ago on her YouTube channel. And I was like oh yeah Pilates, it'll be chill. First two minutes of the video they're like explaining like the workout and, this, and Sarah's day is saying how it's hard and she's like ripped and I'm like she's struggling because <laughs> also my glutes are very sore from yesterday's workout and my back is sore because yesterday i was sitting on the floor like last night sorting out the merch stuff because of the floor was like the biggest flat surface i had all right well, i'm gonna set up a little bit of a time lapse to get this workout done it's currently 8 36 a.m let's go <laughs> Okay, so that is all done. That was hard because I'm not flexible. Anyway, I'm going to stretch out now because otherwise I'm going to be very sore tomorrow. I'm going to chuck my camera on charge because I didn't get a chance to fully charge it last night before I went to bed. So I will charge that while I'm having breakfast and stuff and I'll talk to you guys afterwards. Alright, so I've showered and had breakfast and made myself a smoothie bowl and it was so good. The sun's come out which is amazing because woke up this morning and I was feeling a bit flat because A weather's been appalling, B because we're in isolation and C because my back is kind of sore and D because I miss Owen like a lot but it's okay we'll be okay. I went down to get the mail from the mailbox and there were two packages for me. So I don't know what this one is, but it's got rainbow confectionery on it, so that sounds good. And this one, I'm pretty sure, is my Tropica body balloon from Sarah's Day. I'm gonna open it up and have a look. <gasps> it is. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. I got a free metal straw. Here we have the beautiful body bloom. Actually, this is like different to my other one. Oh, what? Because my one has like a can opener at the top. This is way different. That's way better actually. Oh yeah, that is the body bloom. And it's from Tropica. I get people asking me where I get it from. You can only get it from Tropica if you're getting it from anywhere else. It is not legitimate. And then the metal straw, which I got for free. Oh, it comes with the thing. I was like, why is there a loop at the bottom? Huh, that's cool. Now next up we have this. I took the slip out so I don't have to worry about not flashing my address. But the packing slip said that it was sent by Sam from church. So Sam, I don't know if you watch my videos, but if you do, hello and thank you. And I'm going to open this and see what we have here. This is a very large box. Oh my goodness. There's a KG chocolate. This is so cool. Okay, thank you Sam. What? Man, I wish I hadn't just brushed my teeth. That's so annoying. So I have got these lanyards to package up, which I spoke about briefly this morning. So last night I printed out the invoices, wrote the letters, wrapped them up, tied the string, wrote the name tags and what have you. And then I woke up this morning and I had like 10 more orders. So I'm going to do those now. I don't have enough envelopes, it's the issue, so I'm going to have to go find somewhere to buy them from. Which could be a challenge. I've only got 10 envelopes and I need like 
40 and I need to go buy the postage stamps as well. I'll have to go to the store and see, which is kind of annoying because I don't really want to go to the store because coronavirus, but that's all good. Okay, well, I'm gonna go and show my mum what was in this box because she wanted to know, but I was like, I want to show the camera first. Put my body bloom in the fridge. You're not supposed to keep it in the fridge. Like, you don't have to, but like, I prefer to. And... Yeah. All right. So I put half of one of the bags of chocolate, so 250 grams of chocolate into this little jar. I had this jar sitting in my room and it had, yeah, it was, had a heap of extraneous stuff in it. So I washed it and put the chocolate fish and pineapple lumps and I don't even know what those are. Anyway, there we have it. You can't really see, or you can kind of see, but I laid out everyone's lanyards in order because I've matched up the letters with the invoice, no, not the invoices, the order slips, but the lanyards with the names on, like name tags, just like random. So I need to match those up with the order sheets. <sighs> this is so confusing, my brain It's like. So yeah, I'm gonna write the rest of these letters, all 15 of them, and then go from there. I'm just gonna get on with it though and not really talk like I might do a bit of a time lapse but I won't actually show you what I'm doing because it's just like easier for me to just like go and get it done. Okay well I just went in to like adjust the stock numbers because when I ordered the lanyards I ordered 50. So one for obviously for myself and then my uni friends like the three that I sent them to I don't know if I I put a thing on TikTok about that, but basically three of my friends were the ones who kind of got me into doing the actual lanyards. Because our lanyards at uni are ugly. So we're like, we're gonna we're gonna fix this and we're gonna make some cute ones. So that was where I stepped in and I did my part. And so that was for Jess, Rachel and Morgan. And then Taya and Tanea, my two other friends. I wasn't I think Taya wants one, but I'm not sure about Tanea, but I put one aside for her anyway. And then I'm saving one for Owen because he hasn't said that he wants one, but then he got a little bit upset that I didn't get one for him, so I feel bad, so I put one aside for him and then Beth who shout out to Beth don't know if she watches my videos but she helped me because like I had the graphics sorted but you have to have them in a certain format which you have to do on Adobe Illustrator and I don't have Adobe Illustrator so she helped me out for that so she is like a lifesaver because I've saved one for her as well and I just kept two others in case like giveaways or whatever that comes to 10 lanyards which I kept for myself which means I had 40 up on my website and I just went in to adjust the stock numbers so I could get those 10 like reserved and when I adjusted, I had to adjust it from being six left to no seven left to three left. So I did that, and then I refreshed it, and it said there was only one left. I was like, no, that's a glitch. So I went back to the order thing, and two people had placed orders just as I'd hit that same button. So there's currently one lanyard left, which is oh, I can't believe how fast they've sold out. And this is only domestic. Like I thought that I might have sold like twenty, ten, maybe if I was lucky. <laughs> I'm absolutely blown away. I need to write all these letters. I'm gonna to need to print out more leather cards because there's not gonna be enough. And match those up, wrap up the lanyards that I haven't wrapped up yet, put a string around them, put the name tags on them, pair them up, go buy the envelope, write in addresses on the envelopes, put the stamps on them and send them. But today is Saturday and if I need to get, that's not gonna happen, I need to get these to the post office by 11 o'clock which isn't going to happen because that's in 8 minutes. So these I will aim to have in the post box by 11am on Monday. So I'll get it all done today and then I'll just have them aside and on Monday. I'll go put them in there. Because I could put them in there like after 11 o'clock but it's not going to get cleared until Monday. So I may as well just wait and do it on Monday just so that I know that they're safe and not just sitting in this box in the street, you know. So we're going to do that. So I need to get on with this. Time to write some letters. It is now 8 minutes past 12 and I finally finished writing the letters out. The, as I was writing them, the last lanyard sold. So I put a thing up on my story asking people if they were interested in buying one and then happened to miss out. And within like 20 minutes there was like 300 people who said that they missed out. So I have contacted the supplier and I'm going to order another 100 units. Because last time I did a thing where I asked people if they were interested it was like 150 people and it was actually only 30 so just going for like a third of it at the moment if I do need to get more then I can get more but I just don't want to like overcommit, you know at this stage there are 100 units coming probably I want to say two to three weeks time and as I was writing all this stuff out I was thinking I'm talking to you guys on the vlog but I never actually announced on YouTube that the lanyards are coming out and I know that a lot of you guys don't have Instagram so I am sorry if you missed out and I will try and give you guys a little bit of pre-warning 
before the next slot come out in case you guys did want to see them or buy one i'm sorry it is 10 past 12 it's kind of his lunch time but i'm kind of not hungry yet so i'm gonna wrap up some of them they're in this little box so these are the tags this is the paper i have to cut up into that size and then to fold them i fold them in like quarters it's really hard to fold them though because like on lanyards it's supposed to go around your neck so like the thing twists so you can't actually like lie it flat but anyway that's fine i might wrap some of them up now and yeah it is now one o'clock so the news is about to come on like at new zealand they do like a what do they call it? press conference every day at one o'clock and it's like on tv so i'm gonna go watch that and make some lunch um and you guys are gonna come along with me i actually know make lunch is not the right term eat last night's leftovers from dinner is the right term <laughs> Right, let's go. Well, never mind. There was no update today. They're doing, like, there's no, like, press conference as such because it's, like, I guess it's because it's a Saturday. But I've got, like, eight more lanyards to wrap up and then we'll get on to the neck tags. This is taking a lot longer than I thought. Ugh. Okay, I have wrapped up all of the remaining lanyards and now I'm gonna make some more of these tags so I've got card and ruler and stuff so I'm gonna make all those and then I'll write the names on them from the orders and then tie them up because obviously before I tie the string I need to have the card so I can tie it in with the string we're getting there we're getting there right name tags are written also <laughs> I just went to go, oh my gosh, my stomach is rumbling. I just went to go, like, wash my hands before I, like, did it because I'd be eating chocolate fish and I was like, I shouldn't really be touching these because people might be allergic to them. And I looked in the mirror and I had spaghetti bolognese all around my mouth. So, apologies for that in the last few clips, but we're okay now. So now I've got the string. Yep, I've got strings on <laughs> Oh, here it is. I've got the string. I have the lanyards and I have the name tags and now I'm going to do them all up like the ones that are on my bed. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know how much you would have actually been able to see. Oh, that's not a nice noise. And that little time lapse I just did, like, oh my gosh, there's stuff on the string everywhere. I don't know how much you would have been able to see from that little time lapse I just did, but they are all named now. Oh, there's one hanging by a thread, quite literally. Now, I don't actually have enough envelopes to put these all in. I have 10 envelopes, because I wasn't really, well, for two reasons. First up, I didn't realize that they were gonna sell out this fast. And then I'd need so many envelopes, and secondly, I actually forgot that I needed envelopes. I'm gonna head to the store and grab envelopes and posters. I can't say that word. Postage stamps. There we go. And I will be back, but I won't take you guys with me because vlogging in public at the moment is a little bit insensitive. So I'll be back shortly. I am back. So the situation is, I got enough envelopes. But I didn't get enough stamps because I didn't have enough. So, not super stoked about that because I'm, yeah, I don't really know what I'm going to do. Yeah, I don't really know where else you can buy poster stamps from. I, was, I asked them, I was like, when are they going to be coming back in? And they're like, um, I don't know. I was like, cool, thanks. Not ideal, but it is what it is. So we just got to roll with the punches. Does market sell poster stamps? Surely they do. Surely my Nana has some. Maybe I could go get some from Nana. Yeah, Nana would have some. I need to write on all these envelopes. <laughs> Actually, no, I need to alphabeticalize all these. Add these in over there. This is a lot more work than I was anticipating. And just like that, they're all alphabeticalized. See if you can spot your name if you've ordered one. So now all that's left to do from me is to label the envelopes and put them inside the envelopes and then locate an additional 25 purchase stamps. I can't obviously show you writing up the envelopes because that's like exposing people's addresses, but I'll catch you guys after I've done this. It's currently 20 minutes past two, so wish me luck. Wow, that was a mission. It is now 20 to four and I've packaged up all of the, well, I haven't sealed the envelopes or anything, but they're all sitting there ready to go. I'm stressing. This has taken me six hours to do and i have got uni work i need to do it's fine all right well i need to go sort something out because i just got an email from one of our tutors saying that something that we did wasn't right and we spent like 
three hours on it the other day. I've got to go back and fix that now. Live, love, laugh. All right, I need to go sort this out. It is now 5.30 and I have calmed down a bit. Or oh, a bit. Just a little bit. I can't even remember the last thing I vlogged, but basically I've been sitting here doing my university work. This is the funny thing though, I'm actually on holiday at the moment, like holiday. I am the busiest now that I've been, like, ever. I've got three university assignments I'm working on, of which two of them are group work, and the other is a 1200 word essay on New Zealand English. <laughs> yeah, I managed to put the stamps on 15 of the envelopes, so they're all good to go, so I'll post them on Monday. I'm working on my essay at the moment, trying to get a draft together so that I have something to work off, because it's not due until, like, first week back, and we're only just going to the first, so I've got, like, two weeks to do it, pretty much. But I just don't want to leave it till last minute, because other two assignments I have are due in a week. Alright, I'm gonna just chip away at this stuff and talk to you guys shortly. <laughs> So I just went downstairs and spoke with mum. She's cooking dinner and she said dinner will be ready at 7 o'clock-ish. So that's 40 minutes away. I've finished drafting my sociolinguistics essay. So at least I've got a base from that to work off for the next two weeks to get it all sorted with referencing and stuff. Because referencing is so fun. Said no one ever. I'm currently sitting down and I'm going to take this time between now and dinner. Just to chill out, watch Sarah's day, reply to DMs. And then after dinner crack on with some more stuff okay it is 8 30 and i'm gonna close off the vlog here we had dinner i finished like half an hour ago but i've been sending emails for my marketing thing because we have a survey that we have to get like people to answer dinner was good it was like cannelloni i think i got a photo on snapchat so if i did i'll chuck it in for you guys to see but thank you guys so much for watching today has been a very odd day normally i wouldn't spend seven hours organizing merch but that is just how today happened to be thank you guys so much for watching hope you're all staying safe hope you're staying well make sure to smile and i'll see you guys in my next video I'm <laughs>